Welcome to Job Site Bulletin Board Inspector Training. In this training, you will learn the purpose of the board, expectations, required posters, best practices, maintenance, the RCS rule, and the removal. The purpose of the Job Site Bulletin Board. The prime contractor's responsibility is to make sure that the job site bulletin board is installed, that they maintain the fixture, they display the information on various rights, protections, and appeals to all workers and the public. The job site bulletin board is a one-stop shop for employees and the public to go to for information. Information on wages, including additional wage classifications, federal requirements, and who to contact for any equal opportunity or affirmative action issues. Each job site bulletin board is project specific. Inspector expectations. Upon the request of the RCS, the inspector is to provide clear, legible pictures of the bulletin board and its immediate surroundings. Follow up on any reinspection requests timely and direct employees to the board if they have any EEO concerns. It is important to note that the prime is responsible for informing employees of the location of the bulletin board. It is not the responsibility of the inspector. Where and when to place the job site bulletin board? The location is usually discussed at the pre-con. It's typically placed within the job site limits at a laid down yard or an empty lot. It must be in a safe location for employees and the public to access 24 seven. The board must be in place with all required posters attached before the start of work. A safe location is a location where no one has to go into unsafe environment to access the board. A median is considered an unsafe location. These are some examples of the required posters. EEO is the law, FHWA notice, employee rights under Davis-Bacon Act, Florida law prohibits discrimination, rights and responsibilities under the Family Act, EEO is the law supplement. ARA whistleblowers poster, wage appeals, employee polygraph protection act, e-verify poster, and the OSHA job safety and health. The RO whistleblowers poster is not a requirement to be on the board, but it is here in this training for your reference. Project specific posters. These three examples are examples of project specific posters for the job site bulletin board. The top left poster is the EEO name and contact information. This lists the EEO officer's name and contact information for all active contractors on site that are over $10,000. The middle poster is the federal wage rate decision that applies to the project. And the poster on the left corner is the additional classification approvals poster. And that is the poster in which the prime will list all additional classifications that were approved by USDOL that were not included in the original wage decision. Best practices for taking pictures. To ensure the accessibility and the accuracy of information on the job site bulletin board, proper pictures need to be taken. Whole board pictures with immediate surroundings help the RCS verify the accessibility of the board. Close up of the EEO officer list also helps the RCS verify if the information for the EEO officers listed is correct and accurate. Close-up pictures of the additional federal wage rate decisions, if applicable, and the wage rate posters are also needed to verify that the correct ones are posted on the bulletin board. Maintenance of the job site bulletin board. Being that we are in Florida, we do get a lot of rain. Posters will get damaged. Posters should be replaced if they get water stained and are no longer legible. If they are still legible, it is up to the RCS's discretion if they need to be changed. 
The board should be resecured if it falls or is damaged by winds or hurricanes. Also, if the board is stolen or posters from the board are stolen, they also need to be replaced by the prime. What role does the RCS play in the bulletin board process? The RCS inspects the board periodically to ensure it starts out in compliance and stays in compliance throughout the duration of the project. With COVID-19, the RCS is relying on the project's inspectors to provide them with pictures of the board. The inspections are completed quarterly, in addition to if there are changes to any of the EEO officers, if there are additional wage classifications to be added, if there are any damaging rains or storms or any type of inclement weather, and revisions to be made to a poster. Removal of the job site bulletin board. It is important to note that the board may be removed once the project is final accepted and only when it is final accepted. The board is not removed once the work is completed on the project. And this concludes the job site bulletin board training for inspectors.